what is the role of the church in the acclimatization or accommodation or f some other word of how to bring black America to a decision about its place in the broader America. So what role can and does the church play in that? Well, with the proper leadership, Henry, of the church, the pastor himself being engaged in culture, being engaged in country, I think the role could actually be what it has been throughout black history. When you think about how was it that those four million that were released after slavery endured through it? What was the glue that held them together, family and, and community, during slavery? What was it that, uh, that built the resolve that even when your children were being sold off, when your, your husband was being tormented based on just some core principles that he wanted to protect? protect his family and some of their interests, what held them together? After that point, even though we know it was Christianity, in fact, when, when it became um, known throughout culture that in, in our general and broader society that blacks were having their own code language through their churches, not only were they worshiping God and asking him to, to set them free, but also that they were communicating ways to make that freedom happen themselves. And so that role was attempted to be diminished, but it wasn't. They found other ways to still express that connection to eternity and to God, looking to that sky knowing that their ancestors in Africa were still looking to that same sky. Then you move fast forward all the way through Jim Crow. Once the freedom had arrived and blacks started to build community and lives and all of it being destroyed, what was that glue? It was always that pulpit pastor. It was the leader of the community uh, to, it, to build in people uh, a love for God, a love for themselves so that they can endure hard time. That started unraveling, not just to Mark's point that the whole culture uh, began to remove and scrub itself of God. But when you think about it, even the civil rights movement uh, was in the midst of a change in our whole society moving toward big government. So once we scrubbed God out of our schools in the 60s and in interjected government to be the save all and salvation, I think that the pastor lost his leadership role. And that's what we're seeing today. Most communities, they see the church there, they know the pastor's name, but he is weakened as a result of all of these other uh, challenges that have come into his community uh, because he's lost his voice and has been replaced by a culture of secularism.